Welcome to YouTube. Uh, this is Joe Rebella for Rebella's Kempo Karate. And what we're going to be going over today is the use of one of the most devastating weapons in the martial arts arsenal. The use of the elbow. The elbow is a hard, sharp, bony surface which is a, creates a devastating effect upon our opponent. Uh, systems such as uh, American Kempo and uh, Muay Thai have extensive use of the elbow. What we're going to do, we're going to show you a couple of select sets from some of those systems and show you how you can use sequential flow to add to create simple sets or work on these various sets from these other martial arts systems to teach you how to utilize the elbow. Uh, the first uh, set I'm going to go over today comes from the uh, Karazempo Goshen Jutsu system and I've also seen it utilized in the uh, Kaiju Kempo system as well. It's a fairly simple set. Again, you're going to step out with your right foot and what you're going to do from here is both your hands are going to shoot out in simultaneous front to knuckle or horizontal thrust positions, executing simultaneous outward or you know, rear elbows, outward rear elbows. You're going to circle your arms, executing double simultaneous upward elbows as utilizing punches in a vertical position to the rear. And then you're going to pull your arms back in simultaneous back elbows or rear elbows. From a side view, let's turn it sideways here and give you a greater insight. Punch, outward elbow, outward rear elbow, upward elbow with twin vertical punches, simultaneous back elbows or elbows to the rear. Now you look at that particular set of movements and you say to yourself, huh, what's going on? Well, in this case, let's visualize that a person has got us in a bear hug. And as the person gets us in a bear hug, we're going to step out with our right foot, dropping our height zone down and increasing our width zone as simultaneously we execute twin punches straight ahead. This is going to loosen his grip. This is against a rear bear hug arms pin. Immediately from that action, I'm going to shoot my hand in the back elbow. That's going to hit him right in the face, in the, in the bridge of the nose, in the mouth, or possibly the throat region. From here, I'm going to circle my arms up around, coming over the top, as I punch him in the face with the vertical punch and or punches. From here, I bring my elbow straight back and strike with my rear elbow to my opponent's solar plexus. From a side view, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Using both hands. One, two, three, four. I originally first learned this particular set from uh, Mr. Art Lappin from the Raven Kempo system, and he in turn learned it from his original Kempo instructor, Mr. Paul Patella. He in turn learned that from George Passaro. So this definitely has a Nikata Zempo Goshen Jutsu lineage in relationship to that particular drill. Next, we're going to go on to certain segments of the American Kempo Striking Set 2. Striking Set 2 has many different elbow movements. We're just going to take a couple of select in-place sets that you can have some fun with. Let's go into the elbow set from Striking Set 2. Now here we're going to step out with our left foot into a horse stance, our hands are going to come to chamber, and we're going to do upward, downward, inward, outward. Upward, downward, inward, outward. Now here again we're using our upward elbow again, but now we're dropping down to a vertical downward elbow. Then we're rotating at the shoulder, striking with an inward elbow, bring our hand across in a vertical position, and then striking with proper travel for an outward elbow. So a thing we do with our right side, upward elbow, vertical downward elbow, inward elbow, outward elbow. Upward, downward, inward, outward. Could we do upward, downward, inward, outward? Sure, we could do that as well with simultaneous actions to our hands. If we want proper travel, we would have to overlap the hands to get the proper travel for the torquing motion. But again, that basic understanding, upward, downward, inward, outward, Upward, downward, inward, outward can still be adhered to. I'll tell you what, let's go into something just before that, which is the American Kempo form, long form two. We're gonna to go to the end of that particular form. At the end of the form, stepping out with your left foot, we, we decoratively call this to be continued next form. 
Well, what are we doing here? Well, here we're utilizing an inward elbow with a sandwiching heel palm, a sandwiching elbow. From here, we're executing simultaneous outward elbows to each side. From here, we bring our hands in an upward elbow action with our left hand and a rear elbow action with our right hand. So inward, outward, upward, downward. Or upward and downward to the rear. So again, one, two, three, and four. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, utilizing the sandwiching elbow. Remember, when you use a brace, it keeps his face from flying off into space. Piece of bread, piece of bread, meat in the middle. The sandwiching elbow is a devastating strike. The outward elbows can be utilized through two opponents charging from the side, striking both opponents simultaneously. We utilize this in reference to the Ameri in American Kempo, the gaseous state of martial arts, meaning that our arms are moving out to each side simultaneously, striking simultaneous opponents at the same time, creating a gaseous state where gas seeks its own volume. Next, I want last, and the last drill I want to go over with you today, I want to go over one of the sets I recently saw from the system out of, out of Europe, um, Kaisen Do. And they have a neat little elbow set that I really like and I'd like to share it with you. When I saw it originally, again, it starts off with an upward elbow, or upward elbow here, upward elbow, outward elbow, inward elbow, overhead downward elbow, upward elbow. Neat little set, neat way to, to a neat sequence of actions. So again, from here, we're going to start off with an upward elbow with our right hand, stepping out the horse stance, outward elbow, pivoting the forward stance, inward elbow, shooting the hand over back elbow, and then into an overhead inward elbow. So again, from here, upward elbow, and we really want to be specific, the other hand's using a back elbow. Outward elbow, sandwiching inward elbow, overhead inward elbow, and then back up to our upward elbow, and of course the back elbow here. When we look at these actions, different elbow strikes, again, the effects can be devastating. Whether we're facing an opponent, having an opponent to the flank or side of us, or facing an opponent to the rear, the effects can be devastating. The elbow, a viable, devastating, natural weapon that you can use in the martial arts. This is Joe Rebella for Rebella's Chemical Karate.